Native Robin again. And today I woke up and heck, it's a holiday, so no work today. Don't have to go to the office, so I thought about what I wanted to do today and I put a sub pump in the root cellar under my summer kitchen. And today we're going to wire that thing up. It's already been plumbed, but we're going to wire it up and do some other electrical here around the farm. So hang in there and let's check it out. Okay, so before I start a job, I like to gather up all the stuff I'm going to need. And I usually try to buy extra stuff when I'm at Home Depot. If I know I got a job coming up, I want to do because it's uh, 25 miles to the nearest Home Depot. That's 50 miles round trip to get a doodad. Well, uh, I have a local hardware about 10 miles away. Well, I'm going to pay dearly for it. You know, small town hardware. But uh, this just goes to show you, I bought a GFI outlet, cannot find it nowhere. So, <laughs> so I know I'm going to go spend about 25% uh, more for that GFI outlet. Although I will say I am keeping a local business open and I appreciate that part of it. So we'll make a trip to the hardware store. Hang in there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the part I needed and I'm turning the corner back to the house. That group of trees and that farm, that's my farm. So it just shows you there's nothing for miles in any direction. I mean, I stick out like a sore toe out here, but I like it. I'm all by myself and I get to do these fun jobs. So, uh... Anyway, I always get a little happy when I pull in my own driveway. Here's the house. Okay, let's get on this project. Well, since this day is electrical day, electrical upgrade day on the farm, something I want to remind you to do. Now, I've spent buku money and time putting in solar system for backup electricity. I got a wood boiler install and I've done all this to keep the lights on and the heat on but you know what my thermostat won't work without this <laughs> double-a batteries and the other day it was a flashing replaced battery and I went to go to my battery drawer and I bought all triple A's and no double A's so for all the hours and hours I spent and all the money I spent uh, my heat wasn't going to work until I run to the store and bought two AA batteries. So guess who's got Buku AA batteries right now? But uh, just goes to show you, think your system through. I hadn't thought about that. You know, I don't, the thermostat's on the wall. You replace batteries once a year, maybe. But uh, it's just a little hint, you know, with all your preps and all the things you do, just trace your system and look for weaknesses. Now let's get started on this uh, outlet for my sub pump. So in my summer kitchen, I got this root cellar. Now, uh, it's not really super deep down there, but I put a sub pump in. Oh, yeah. Put a sub pump in over there because this place fills up with water every now and again on a really big storm. And so uh, I run an extension cord for now whenever it rains, but it's time to give it its own power juice. And because I don't want it to be, uh, if this ever did fill up with water, I don't, wouldn't want anyone to get electrocuted. So uh, I went and bought a GFI outlet, which will be extra safe around a wet environment. So behind back between that one inch crack back in there there's a hole going into my battery room my electrical room so i'm going to drill a hole in the floor between the wall and my cabinetry and then poke it through the wall over there on that other side on that other side you can't really see it i'll show you There it is. See that hole back here? That's where it comes in. And it's right by the panels. So I'll just poke it through there. 
run it in and put it into my uh, critical load panel so that I'll be able to have electricity down there off the battery system and off the solar system. Well, I'd like to say I planned it, but because this wall right here was uneven, I had to run an extra joist next to the wall to, you know, nail the subfloor on. And that made a nice little groove in, up in here where I was able to run uh, a big long drill bit. A big long drill bit up there. And now I'll go between those cabinets. So let me poke this wire up through there. Okay, so there that wire is coming out of that hole. All I gotta do is pull it through and wire it into this cabinet. Hey, looks like I got lucky and I got a couple empty spots down here on the bottom. Only need one. So I'm gonna run that wire through the bottom here, through here, run it right there. Now, uh, this is an unbonded cabinet and so I run one side all the neutrals and one side uh, all the grounds. It's a separate deal. And so, uh, yeah, I put all the grounds up here in this one. So all the neutrals go on here and all the grounds are separate up here. This is the power that comes from my solar inverters. So, uh, I mean, it looks like I got it loaded down, but honestly, my pull on is less than 100 watts during the day total for the whole house. So unless the refrigerator kicks on. So now, you know, it's just simple. You hook a hot wire to it, or black wire is hot. The neutral goes to the bar, and the ground goes back here. I'm not going to show you how I do all this, because honestly, there's 50 kajillion videos that are much better than I do anyway, and I'm just a Yahoo homeowner. So I uh, will say this, shut the power off when you do it, and that's another reason why I don't want to try to film in the dark. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this in and I'll get right back to you. Okay, went out in the barn again, found a uh, metal box. I put a clip on it, looks like it's going to be good to go. Found an old porcelain pull string, which means I won't have to fool around with putting a switch in down there. I can just pull the string and turn it on. So I'll run the power from the uh, circuit box to this junction box. Tie, then take a wire from here over to the outlet for the sub pump. And I'll put a light on here as the cover. And then when I pull that dude, I got light. So this is just turning out to be a pretty good day. Okay, so I'm under the cross space. Now, I, I, this sounds weird, I know it does, but uh, if I have a box and the light is on it and it's sticking down from the bottom of a rafter, I'm, I'm sitting on the floor now. I mean, eventually that's going to get broke or it'd be a constant head knocker. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up between the rafter. I know that's not going to be the best for light down here, but I'm not going to need light that often anyway. Mostly I can see most of it here with just the light from the room. So this is just a just in case kind of thing. I feel like I need to have a light. And this gives me a junction box anyway down here. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this dude in and uh, quit talking because of the, uh, of the problems with the sound. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but I got the wire coming in and the wire going out and then a pigtail coming off each wire nut for the white, black, and the ground. And then I'll hook up a uh, the light right now and we should be in really good shape here. And I'll be able to throw that switch and we'll see how it's going to go. Okay, so what I got into was when I flipped on the circuit breaker, this light didn't want to work. It's an old light. I got out of a barn, an old porcelain one, and uh, then it started smoking a little in the switch. And I pulled the wiring out like this and, and looked, and the smoke was coming out of here. So we're not going to burn the house down. Now the sad thing is, I went and bought a, a quote new one. Look at this thing, man. Plastic. What a piece of junk. But 
I suppose it is good. It could possibly have uh, high humidity or moisture down here, so it ain't gonna be in the world. But I just wish I could have used my antique light. So let me get it, and then I'll show you the whole end project. Okay, so I've uh, got the new outlet on a new lamp in there, and cover your eyes. Bam! That's awesome. So uh, that lit that lights it up in here. And I was able to use the old-fashioned pole. Big deal, I know. Now I want to make sure that the sub pump works. Awesome. Sub pump's working. Put that little GFI in there, and I just kind of tied it off here so I can unplug it, keep the cord off the ground. Got this cool cover goes on here. We're good. There. Okay. So. That was a rough afternoon. I, I had to get up out of here. I'm disappointed that uh, the old fashioned, the antique light didn't work, but hey, one more step. The only thing I gotta do down here now is I gotta, I'm gonna paint the walls with that dry lock sealer and put this, uh, put it, paint the floor and get it ready in here and then I'll have a root cellar ready to go. So I know this is kind of a weird video, <laughs> So that was my project for today, putting in a new outlet and a new light at my root cellar. It's tied into my critical load panel on my solar system, and so if the apocalypse happens, we can hide in the cellar. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And until next time, this is Dave Robinson. Happy trails.